Welcome to Trail Talk here on LTTV. I'm Chris Ford. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Lincoln Trail College and Illinois Eastern Community Colleges. And I'm joined by Dr. Zahi Atala, the President of Lincoln Trail College. Good morning, Z Chris. How are you doing today, Zahi? Great. Yourself? You're doing great? I'm good, thank you. So, Zahi, today we are talking about universal design for learning. So, to start off with, what is that? Well, it's a continuation of our... Uh topic from last week when we talked about the welcoming college. Universal design for learning is nothing new. Uh, dates back a few decades now where we, uh, it's based on the architectural and construction aspects of designing for a purpose and backtracking from that purpose uh, into the implementation. Uh, similarly in our classrooms and the way we instruct we need to consider the students individually, how they learn best, and how we can meet them. So, uh, you know, at one time this concept was sort of, sort of working with people that, that might have some, you know, learning disabilities of some sort, but uh, what, what we found is by working with those students, really you are helping out all of the students in the classroom. Perfectly said, uh, Chris. Uh, although the original impetus was for uh, a better focus on individuals with learning disabilities or differing learning abilities or, or developmental delays, the, the research has borne that those individuals uh, are greatly helped but everybody else, like you said, in the classroom. So it opened our eyes to the opportunities of exploring multiple ways to instruct our students, multiple ways of engaging them in the learning activities and multiple ways to get the message across to them effectively. So I kind of want to start with an example that at the beginning of the academic year for our faculty staff workshop, uh, you kind of talked a little bit about this in your presentation using the idea of a parabola. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, good memory. Uh, the, the parabola, if we're going to spend our, our time and energy in, in algebra just talking about the actual equation and resolving it, maybe we can get a large proportion of our students to resolve that equation. But is this what the real universe all about? Is this what they're going to see in their workplaces? Is this what they're going to see at home? Uh, the answer is unlikely. So how can we bring the parabola to the everyday life? You know, we talked about the parabolic uh, antenna that we have on our houses to, uh, to bring in satellite uh, data or the light headlight on a car that is a parabolic shape. We talked about, you know, a, a footballer uh, or a, uh, a football player or, or, a, uh, or a golfer and the traje trajectory of their ball being parabolic. Those are m perhaps more tangible examples that would draw the students in and would explain to them why we're learning about the parabola and would give them examples so rather than resolving abstract mathematics, they're resolving real world issues. And it, it doesn't stop there. It, it, it goes on and on and on in every, almost every topic we deal with. Well, and another example that, that we've talked about is uh, helping students with different ways of learning. So some might be visual learners, some might be, uh, you know, they, they learn by hearing, and, and some, they want to get their hands on something to learn. So uh, a good way to look at that is an instructor incorporating all of those things into a lesson. Absolutely. It's no different than what you used to do in your previous life as a broadcaster, Although it's, it's an auditory medium, you're giving the listener a feel, a smell, a touch that, uh, that, that they would otherwise uh, not have access to through the way you're narrating, through the way you're scripting. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how we learn individually. What matters is how we can get the message successfully to our students so they can be successful. So really, again, it's all about building that, that welcoming campus for all students. 
So I uh, want to thank you again for watching uh, this week's edition of Trail Talk here on LTTV. If you enjoy Trail Talk, certainly we would encourage you to uh, like and subscribe our channel and uh, like and subscribe to all of our social media channels as well. So uh, for Dr. Atala, I'm Chris Ford. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you.